I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and in a previous video I talked about these new TARTS sensors that I got from a company called Monit. And these are basically little wireless sensors that you can use with an Arduino, a Raspberry Pi, or a BeagleBone in order to add a wireless sensing capability to your home automation system. So this is the wireless uh, motion sensor that I got from TARTS, and I'm just going to take a look at what we have here. So basically, you can see on the package, it's highlighting a couple of features of the product. Exceptional wireless range, they're saying, and in my experience, that's probably about 300 feet. And these transmit at 900 megahertz, which is a very low frequency. So they're very good at penetrating walls and other kinds of things you'd have in your home. Long battery life, well, that's true also. Um, they ship with a lithium battery. And in my experience, they say it'll last um, up to uh, two years. And... Um, and here it says up to five years actually on the back. I find that if I want to have this transmit every 10 minutes or so, it actually lasts about a year between battery changes, which is still really good um, given that little lithium batteries are pretty cheap. And then 20 sensor types available. So this is the motion sensor. They also sent me a temperature sensor and a door open and close sensor. I've demoed similar sensors from Monit, their parent company, in other videos, but this one is the motion sensor. Um, so looking at the back, passive infrared motion sensor is just a little PIR sensor on top of there. Um, range of 16.4 feet, so that's how far the sensor can see, not necessarily how far the device can transmit. And then it says that a CR2032 coin cell is, power, is provided. CR, we know it's lithium. LR is alkaline, so CR is lithium. And this works with the Arduino, Raspberry Pi, or BeagleBone gateways. And they sent me an Arduino and a Raspberry Pi gateway, so that's what I'm going to eventually be testing it with. You can see we've got the frequency selected down here. I guess they must offer different frequencies. Maybe if you want to have multiple sensor networks in a small area or something else is jamming your 900 megahertz uh, signal, but this is going to be the 900 megahertz sensor. And we'll go ahead and open it. So let's see, we've got some tech specs and a little drawing on the inside here um, telling me how to insert the battery. Again, some technical specifications here, what my value is going to be from the data. Um, not sure if this is actually data yet, but this is all on here, the operating range. So here's the actual device. You can see they've got it in this nice pink anti-static bag. Get that out of there. So basically all it is, it's a little tiny PCB. There's no enclosure. Now with their industrial product line, which I've used in other videos, they do have an enclosure, but this is the one with tarts meant more for makers, so they leave it open. So you can embed it in your own project. And we've got that passive infrared sensor on the top. It's a little black thing hanging off here. We've got a pretty long antenna relative to the size to be able to transmit on that 900 megahertz frequency. Looks like on the board we have some kind of little microprocessor, a couple of little resistors and things on there, and then it looks like they must have a standard board where they attach all different sensor types, because what we have down here is just a set of contacts, and this one has been soldered onto there, and it looks like we have maybe a little pull-down resistor um, on one of the, the leads there as well. So they must take this one board and then use it for all of the different kinds of sensors, just attaching something different to it, which is nice and economical. Keeps the cost low, I imagine. These cost about $25. And then you can see on the back, we have the information you need to associate this with a sensor network. And we've got a kind of cutesy little logo, different from the industrial ones on there. And then this is where you would insert that lithium coin cell battery into the back. So basically, once you have the gateway set up on your Arduino or your BeagleBone or your Raspberry Pi, it looks like you would basically pop the battery in here and then associate this with your gateway, and you would be getting out these sensor values. So zero when there's no motion detected, and a one um, when there is motion detected. So very, very simple device. You can put this anywhere you want it, you know, embed it in a project or hide it in the ceiling or um, whatever you would want to do with it. And you can get that wireless sensing capability right into your board. So that is the motion sensor from Tarts Sensors. 
And um, in future videos, I'll probably show how this actually works in practice, and I'll show uh, some of the other sensors that uh, Tarts sent me.